Hello guys and welcome to an epic slide design battle between myself and the story code. If you don't know this story Co, go check out her videos because she is an incredible presentation designer and we thought that it would be a very fun idea if we gave each other a brief for a very difficult presentation and see what the other person could come up with. So let's have a look at the brief that she sent me. It says create a three to four slide presentation about Hong Kong, which is her hometown inspired by Hong Kong cafes. She wants a cow there somehow. I need to use traditional Chinese text somewhere on every slide. It needs to look cinematic and I need to add a neon light animation. She also sent me these images for inspiration which is great because I've never been to Hong Kong and I don't know the Hong Kong cafe aesthetic and I obviously don't know Chinese but I'm instantly drawn towards these patterns here and I can see that the images kind of have like the same treatment here is a cow she was talking about and I can also see uh, a little bit of the color scheme so it would be green, red and like these gray tones here. So I came up with this mood board for myself. I put in like some colors that I'm going to use throughout the presentation. I defined a couple of fonts, one for titles and one for body text. And this is the image that I took as reference for the slides that I'm going to create. I also need to create a couple of patterns that I see are very representative of those Hong Kong cafes. So I'm gonna start with a square, I'm gonna rotate it, and then I'm gonna insert another smaller rectangle. And for this one, I'm just gonna add an outline, a green outline, and I'm gonna get rid of the fill. And I'm gonna put the small square on that corner and I'm gonna change the color to um, green. Now I need to duplicate it to the other side holding Ctrl on my keyboard. Then I'm gonna group with Ctrl G and I'm gonna rotate it to have it on the other sides. Then I'm gonna select the line here and I'm just gonna make a diagonal here. And if you select the first square that we did and then go to home and pick the paint brush here, you can apply the same style that you already defined. And then I'm going to insert another diagonal on the other direction. Again, I'm going to repeat the process of formatting. And then I'm just going to insert a square. I'm going to put it in the middle. And then I'm going to select everything and group it with Ctrl G. And then I'm just going to duplicate it, holding Ctrl on my keyboard and dragging everything to create a pattern and then I'm going to group it with Ctrl G and move it to the side. I'm also going to create a frame for my images. So I'm going to pick this shape right here and I'm going to insert it and then I'm going to duplicate it, flip it, then select both shapes, go to shape format, merge shapes and click on union and I'm going to apply that same green outline formatting and then I'm going to insert the shape right here and duplicate it because I saw that this one is very representative of those Hong Kong cafes. And I'm going to apply the same formatting of the green outline. Now it's time to start designing my slides and first I'm going to define the color of the background for each slide. So the first one will be green. The second one will be like this light gray. The third one will be um, like the other light beige. And I'm gonna use the red color for my accent colors. So for the cover slide, I'm gonna insert this image that I found on Unsplash because I thought it was very representative of Hong Kong and it kind of goes with the aesthetic that she set up in her references. So I'm going to click on crop and then expand the handles and then from the arrow click on fill and you'll be able to reposition your image. So I'm just going to make it so it takes the whole area of the slide. Then 
I'm gonna click on the image, go to picture format, click on crop, crop to shape, and I'm gonna pick the rounded rectangle corners. And holding Shift and Alt at the same time, I'm gonna make it smaller because I want the green background to show up. So now right click Format Picture to get this panel here and I'm gonna increase the soft edges um, a little bit. And then I'm gonna write the word hung with the font that I defined at the beginning. And I'm just gonna put it here. And then I'm gonna write the word Kong. And I thought of having a mix of like uppercase and lowercase um, for the words just to make them a little bit more interesting. And on this space right here, I'm gonna put the words in the traditional Chinese. So obviously I don't know how to speak Chinese. I know I don't know how to write it either. So I'm just trusting Google Translate on this. Then I'm gonna go to text options, click on the text effects panel, and I'm gonna pick a glowing effect for this one because I will use this one later for my neon animation effect. So I would rather have the glowing now than later. And I'm just gonna change the color to red. Now I'm gonna duplicate the slide with Ctrl D and I'm gonna move everything to the gray area of the slide. And for my traditional Chinese words, I'm gonna align them to the center and I'm gonna move them up. Then I'm gonna select the image and zoom out and I'm just gonna make it larger. This will be our first slide, so I'll just move it um, before the other one. And I'm gonna apply the morph transition later for this one. So now let's move on to our next slide. I copy pasted the frame that we did at the beginning and I'm just gonna add a shape feel of the same color of the background. And then I'm gonna copy the title that we did on the previous slide and here I'm just gonna replace it. And for this one, I'm gonna change the color of the title to green. Then I'm going to add my body text, which in this case, it will be three main attractions from the city. Um, I obviously had to look on Google because I've never been to Hong Kong, but I would love to go one day. And I'm gonna use the red accent and the other font for the numbers because I think it's gonna make them look a little bit more exciting. Then I'm gonna insert a rectangle and I'm gonna change the color to green and you can double click to add your text. And on this slide is where I'm gonna add the pattern that we did. So I'm just gonna copy from the slide with the patterns that we did and I'm just gonna paste it here. I'm gonna paste it a couple of times and then I'm gonna right click and send to back. And I had a missing one right here, so I'm just gonna add it. Again, right click and send to back. Now I'm gonna duplicate this shape with Ctrl D because I'm gonna insert an image here. So I found this image on Unsplash and then I'm gonna right click format shape, picture or texture fill from clipboard. And because the image is flipped, I'll just click rotate, flip vertical, and then again, rotate, flip horizontal. And then I'm gonna get rid of the outline and I'm gonna put the image here. I'm gonna make it smaller holding Alt and Shift at the same time. And I'm gonna apply the same soft edges effect that we did on our previous slide. And for the last slide, I started adding a title and then I just added some content as well. And I just kept it very simple because I just added three images and scattered them around. And finally, I just added some Chinese text as well. Then I just went back for this shape that we did at the beginning and I just added it here. Now, 
I won't get into details with the animations in this video because otherwise it would be just a very long video but as you can see I applied a lot of morph transition go check out my morph transition video if you want to learn more about how I did this animation but let's have a look at the final result in 3, 2, 1 Let me know in the comments how do you think I did. If you want to see how she did with my brief and her design, go check out her video on Instagram and TikTok at TheStoryCo. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video and to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at PPT. And I will see you on my next video.